Hey, we got there. That didn't actually take too long. See what we're up against. Oh gosh. Well, that's another not great matchup. This is clearly not a keepable hand. This one's not much better. Um, it's a little better. It has, for example, lands in it. Yeah, so... This matchup is maybe 50-50, maybe worse. But the long and short of it is that, like, the video is sort of over. There isn't much interaction that's going to happen this matchup. So if you were looking for tough decision making and deep amounts of thought, uh, you're probably out of luck at this point. I guess I get overgrown. I don't ever want to cast Dark Confidant. Totally fine with him killing this with a Rift Bolt. He doesn't. Searing Blaze? That'd be better. Looks like Searing Blaze, right? Molten Rain? We're Molten Raining. Okay. I'm... I'm not too upset about that, really. Do I swing for two? Leave back and let it die? I get a big knight next turn. really exhilarating, huh? You got me. The dude hit three, man. Um, I mean, I have no play other than Horizon Canopy Knight here. I do swing, definitely. This isn't a real matchup, so I have no board for it, really. So we're just gonna have to rely on him having what are called the lands. That's fine. You can kill it. Oh, brutal. Absolutely brutal. Um, yeah, if he doesn't rip the Searing Blaze, I have a decent shot of winning this. But after that, game's pretty much over. I don't know. Maybe he goes land, land. I think I'm just gonna lay the Godless Shrine tapped. I have Path to Exile if he casts another Hellspark Elemental. Or a Goblin Guide or something like that. Looks like a goblin guide to me, right? I guess it costs me just as much life and doesn't get him a land if I just block with Treetop Village. So let's try that. 
bolt me. Yeah, it was uh, quite clear that he was holding that from his timing last turn. Well, this is boring. <laughs> I have Chalice. I want to take out all of my bobs. Bring in Kataki. I don't know. Knight of Souls Betrayal might be good somewhere. One Kataki. Gideon. Oh, well, Gideon could be good. Maybe better than Kataki. That can't be difficult, right? To be better than Kataki? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, wait. I mean, I'm playing <laughs> eight artifacts, ten artifacts in my own deck, so. Kataki seems sort of bad. This hand seems fine. Not good, but fine. Need to get rid of his searing thing magic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Just happened. Uh, okay. So. I guess I just died a goblin guide this game. Jesus Christ. GG, GG, GG. Teetering peaks, mountain, mountain. I will draw lands probably this way. Sort of nice. I did keep a hand with a bunch of creature removal too. I just sensed it coming, I guess. It's unfortunate the goblin guy doesn't like shuffle your deck first. That'd be sick. Oh hey, what a surprise. Could leave a fetch land. To shuffle it up. Um, I guess I just let him rain me. Well, like, whatever. It looks like this cuts down on his possible plays next turn, so... Yeah, obviously he's going to be able to rain me if he wants to rain me. That fact sort of makes uh, Slaughter Pact worse here. Does he even want to rain me? Looks like the answer is no. What have I got on top? Another. Well, that's pretty useless. Um, given that he made this play, I suspect I want to keep Knight around. Knight shuts off his Molden Rain. Right? It seems good. Because I think he has like three points of burn. Shit, I'm dead then anyway. Oh, whatever. spraying. That's cool. Well played. Go for the throat off the top. Wait, why is magma spray in his deck? 
These are the like penetrating questions that we have to ask. On five, have a pretty huge clock. It's not the best clock. That's pretty good. Ugh. It's, it's frustrating. <laughs> playing this deck against people who play bad decks against it. Hey, I have a clock. Are you kidding me? Are we for serious here? Oh my Jesus. We're serious. That actually just happened. Well, Searing Blaze is a good card against decks with creatures. I guess he assumed that I uh, sideboarded Kitchen Fanks because he figured I'd be prepared to play against his deck. since you know Mono Red has really been tearing this format apart. Let's get a Knight of the Reliquary or something, huh? Chalice of the Void. On one? On two? <laughs> All of my spells cost two. He doesn't have that many spells that cost one. He has a bunch of lightning bolts. I don't know. What else am I going to do? The answer is I could have cast Tight Hall of Scholar instead, by the way. Was he, like, holding that or something? God, I hope not. That would be embarrassing for him. Searing Blaze. Molten Rain. Flames, okay. Well, I'm sorry. That was... a depressing and boring tournament. And yeah, I'm tired, so at least that round didn't take long, but like if you look at the deck, I am set up to crush the combo decks, which are good decks. I'm set up to board really strongly against Zoo, which is a solid deck that all the good players are playing. And I guess I'm not set up too well to play against Mono Red Burn or affinity and look the like as a poker player I can't help comparing things to poker all the time and playing this format with this deck really feels like playing like 10 cent 25 cent no limit when I'm used to playing five ten dollar no limit you know like 
the strategy is all worked out and everything seems perfect and then the guys you're playing against are doing completely idiotic stuff and probably it means that I just can't play an awesome deck that beats the good decks in the format which this does probably I need to play a more mediocre deck that doesn't beat the good decks uh, probably that would up my win rate a little bit I don't know I guess I'm 4-4 four and four over the last two days that's hardly abysmal but ugh <laughs> meh Alright.